My name is Joseph Jones. I'm a biological or a biocultural anthropologist at the College of William and Mary. Uh, and with respect to the question of why anthropology, uh, this is a question uh, that we're uh, often asked specifically uh, why biological anthropology uh, as an African American. And uh, uh, the answer for me is pretty simple. I was drawn into anthropology by the promise of the uh, New York African Burial Ground uh, Project. It was something, uh, it was an opportunity I sought to reconstruct. Uh, to find a new history and a lost history for enslaved Africans uh, and a, a hidden part of uh, slavery in the North uh, to reconstruct that history uh, from a new perspective uh, to tell uh, a new stories about how the biology and the culture of these uh, individuals uh, changed uh, as they took on diasporic identities. Uh, it was also a, uh, an opportunity to tell new stories of race uh, uh, from early American history. Uh, and this was a theme that I was able to pick up on in the uh, race project later uh, in my uh, graduate uh, career. Uh, and um, this was a project in which we reconstructed uh, 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 the uh, history, the science, and the lived experience of race and tried to share ideas that anthropologists have had for the past hundred or so years uh, with the broader public, uh, publics. And, uh, and it was, uh, it's been an extremely successful uh, endeavor on the part of the American Anthropological Association. Uh, and, and it's, uh, I think, a, uh, I suppose a challenge for a new generation of anthropologists to figure out how it is we want to make ourselves relevant given the you know, pressing social problems and issues of the day, uh, such as racism and sexism, uh, which persist. So for me, that was a uh, why anthropology. Uh, it's a chance to, uh, to learn more about myself, uh, about my uh, culture, and to share that information with others, uh, hopefully in a way that will uh, 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 resonate uh, intergenerationally.